What's up, what's up? Thank you for tuning in to another video. This video today is gonna be like no other video that I've ever dropped on this channel. You wanna know why? Welcome to my land. Because today is my one year anniversary of driving OTR. Let's get into it. I'm gonna tell you guys the truth and a review of driving OTR and how the experience of becoming a truck driver has been for me. I've been trucks over the road for one year now. When I first started driving OTR, um, I went with Pam Transport, that company. To me, um, it wasn't really that great of a company. Um, I wasn't making any money really. I was making like five or $600 a week. I was having to beg for loads or I would just be sitting around. Um, so I drove for them for two months after that. I stopped driving for a while. I had stopped driving for a while and I was like, I'm just gonna figure something else out. I don't wanna drive trucks no more. And um, just driving around every day, doing things, going out. Every time I seen a truck, I always was like, man, I wish I was back in the truck. So eventually with my girlfriend's support, she's always supported me through everything. Um, all my decisions I've ever made, she's always been my number one supporter. So. Um, I got back in the truck and I had went to an owner operator company. My first company back on the road in over like five, six months was an owner operator company. I worked for that owner operator for one week and I left because his company wasn't up to par. Uh, his trucks had oil leaks, air leaks, like major air leaks. Uh, the truck would barely hold its air pressure and everything. And I worked for that company for a week, man. And I was like, nope, I'm not risking my license. I just can't do it. So I caught me a flight and went home. And then after that, I was looking for another company for like two or three weeks. And then I found another company. And this guy, he was like, hey man, I can't really hire you because you don't got enough experience. But if you're willing to team drive, I can hire you. So I was like, yeah, man, that's fine or whatever. So. I went to that company. That company's out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Um, and I team drove for about four months just to get a little bit more experience to try to get my foot in the door somewhere else. I knew my whole goal the whole time was not to team drive. But hey, if that was the only way that he could hire me with only two months of experience, I was willing to do it. So went to that company, drove for them for four months um, and got some experience did the team driving thing. Um, that team driving wasn't for me because he actually was driving less time than me. He had less than two months of experience. So that was crazy. You couldn't hire me, but you could hire both of us. So I realized that was a money scheme for the owner. So I bounced on out of there four months after four months. And then that's when I came upon Sweet, uh, Sweet Express. And I've been here at Sweet Express for a, right over a little over six months. And you know, um, for me at first, trucking was a hard thing because I came in to trucking thinking of it as a job. And when you become a truck driver or get your CDLs to become a truck driver, maybe it's different for local people, but if you're coming into truck driving and you want to do OTR, it's not a job at all. And you cannot come into OTR thinking, oh man, I'm about to get me a new job because it's not a job at all. It's literally a lifestyle. You have to learn how to be able to maybe eat once or twice a day, uh, work long hours, never know what your next move is, like freight wise, you never know where you're going, you never know when you're gonna be able to take that next shower. Um, it's just a lifestyle that you have to get used to, always being away from home. And for, the, for me, the first two months, maybe that's why I didn't really like Pam, because it was getting used to a new lifestyle that I was never in, I was always, coming home at night after work. And before trucking, I was um, working in a warehouse called Pella Windows and Doors. I don't really know, man. I guess Pella really opened up my eyes to truck driving in a way because um, that was the first place where I ever worked where I was around trucks. Um, we was unloading these trucks and everything. And after working there for about four months, I went to the lead um, on, our, on the floor. And I was like, hey man, do you mind if I run the paperwork out to the drivers. At that time, I didn't realize that was a BOL telling us, hey, this is this, this is that, this is this. At that time, I didn't realize none of that. I just thought it was paperwork. So I didn't care really. I was just trying to get more information from these drivers. So I, after four months, I would always run this, the paperwork back out to the drivers. All I knew is we needed a signature on it. And I would just ask the drivers, hey man, do you like trucking? Is trucking a good industry to get into? 
um, what's some of the pros and what's some of the cons about trucking. And every day for another like two or three months, probably like two months after um, I started doing it, I, every day, multiple times a day, I would go out and talk to truck drivers. And in those two months, I made up my mind, yeah, man, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to get my CDLs. Then like my last day of working at the company, I was on the road, I'm on a delivery truck with an older gentleman who drove tractor trailers um, his whole life. And he retired and everything. And he said he just got working at Pella to have something to do. And he was like, hey man, what do you wanna do the rest of your life? You're still a young person. I don't see you working in a, in a Pella or a, a factory your whole life. I just don't get that type of vibe from you. So what, what's your life goals? What do you wanna do? And I was like, man, I really don't know. I really don't know what I want to do. Um, because in high school, my main focus and my main goal was to go play football, be big time cop program football after that, go to the league. And I mean, personally, I felt like I had the talent. Um, my stats and everything, they showed that I had the talent to at least get into a, a decently sized program, maybe not play in the NFL, maybe go play some arena ball or go play in the Canadian league, but that's not what wasn't the bigger picture for me that I hadn't seen yet, if that makes sense. Um, I told him, man, I don't know. He's like, why don't you get your CDLs? And I looked at him, I said, that's crazy that you say that because I've been thinking about getting my CDLs. I worked there that day we came home. I sat my girlfriend down and I talked to her and everything. And I told her, hey, babe, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to get my CDLs. And she said, if that's what you want to do, I'll support you. So next day, um, I started filling out applications and everything, and that's when I ran across Pam Tr Transport. They paid for my schooling and everything. I went to a school like five, maybe like 10 miles away from my house um, called Future Truckers of, of America. That school taught me a lot. Um, I'm glad I did go to that school because they taught me how to drive a manual, so I don't have a restriction on my license, so I can drive a manual. I have drove a manual over the road, and since I have been on both sides, I would say I'd rather drive an automatic, but if, I mean, if the money's there, I will definitely jump in that manual and drive that manual. The reason I say I'd rather drive an automatic is because a lot of the times as us drivers, we're always getting in traffic and switching these gears back and forth, switching these gears back and forth. That to me, it's, it's aggravating when I could just hit the brake, hit the brake. You know what I'm saying? Um, all I can say is, man, a year of over the road experience, having my, being a truck driver officially today for a year, it's just, it's crazy because without believing in myself and my girlfriend helping me believe in myself also, I don't know, I don't know where I would be at today. So, I mean, I don't think I'd be in jail or anywhere like that, but I just feel like I would probably still be unhappy, still be depressed. Um, working in jobs that I hate, just job hopping. So I gotta say, getting my CDL was probably one of the best things for me. Um, I'm able to not have to worry about bills anymore. I'm like, oh man, how am I gonna pay for this bill? How am I gonna pay for that bill? Struggling to have money. Now it's like, here, here's the bill money. Or, oh, you wanna go out? Let's go do this. It's like, I don't know. I have to ask my girlfriend, but I know for me, it's been a better decision for myself and growth in myself because now I feel like I'm more mature in life. I know I have a goal in life. I wake up every morning and I'm not dreading going, doing what I have to do that day. I'm not gonna say going to work because technically I never left work because I'm here, I live here in a way. I'm on this truck more than I'm at my own personal house that I pay bills for. But has trucking been worth it to me Trucking has definitely been worth it to me. It has opened my eyes. It has let me travel the country and see more parts of the country that I've ever seen in my whole life. In my 24 years of living in this last year, I've seen, basically went to all four corners of the United States. I've been able to travel, make money while traveling, got to do things on my resets, um, got to meet a lot of nice and good, true hearted people in this industry. There are still scums in the industry but i mean i have met a lot of people if i need something or i don't know how to do something hey man how do you do this and they're gonna you know walk me through the steps people that's been in this game longer than me that can actually help me um keep growing 
with my experience and just keep growing in the trucking industry. So if you plan on getting your uh, CDL, make sure the only thing I can say to you is if you have a significant other, make sure you sit them down and tell them, explain to them how it's gonna better, but also don't just tell them the better. Tell them, tell them the bad side of trucking. Let them know that I'm, I'm hardly gonna be home, but I feel like this is gonna be able to benefit us in a better situ, put us in a better situation financially, mentally, and us not have to struggle and try to figure out the next move because with trucking is money and trucking. As long as you find the right company, you can definitely make a little bit of money. Even some companies, you can make a great amount of money. But getting your CDL your first couple months, and I look back and I see this now, you're not going to make a lot of money. So when you first come in for the first two to three months, you're going to be bringing home that six, seven hundred, eight hundred, maybe on a good week, a nine hundred thousand dollars a week. But you still got to look. All right, right now it's not it's not paying me nothing. But in three months, I'll be making money. Or in four months, I'll be making money. Then when you hit that year, all right, now I have some experience. I can start looking for better opportunities. And maybe that's what I'm going to be doing here soon since I now have officially have a year. I'm probably going to stay where I'm at till probably about February or March. And then I might start weighing out my options, seeing if I can find some better opportunities. Um, but do I plan on stop driving trucks? No, I really like driving trucks. It's um, helped me a lot mentally, financially, and just put me in a better spot. Um, my goal as of right now is to eventually one day own my own truck. I mean, that's a lot of drivers, you know, goal is to eventually own their own truck. But I also know there's so much of this trucking industry that you have to learn before you can own your own truck and own your own business. I mean, yeah, you can go on, buy your truck and buy your business, but the game that we play in this game that we live in, you gotta be able to stay profitable. And I heard that from the last trucking company I was at. If you wanna be your own boss, you have to learn and figure out how to stay profitable. So has trucking for me been good? Yes, trucking is, for me has been good. If somebody asked me, should they get their CDLs? Would I say yes? I would definitely want anybody to get their CDLs that feel stuck at, um, you know where you where you're at in life right now if you feel stuck and you're wanting to try something new you never know if you're gonna like driving trucks until you try driving your trucks the only thing is it's like heroin man as soon as you get into this game it's hard to get out you you're just gonna fall in love with being on the road you're gonna fall in love with making money you're gonna fall in love with seeing new things every day and you're gonna just fall in love knowing that whenever you go home and you want you and your significant other wants to go do something, you don't have to look at your bank account first. You can buy, oh, you wanna do that? All right, let's go do that. Or you wanna go do this? Let's go do this. But you gotta learn with good things, there's always sacrifices. And being out here on this road as an OTR driver, the sacrifice is that you're not gonna be at home as much as you want to. And that's just gonna have to be something that you sit down and you and your significant other talk about. So. This has been my experience of driving OTR for one year. Um, I've loved it so far. I hope I have many more years of driving trucks. Maybe not OTR forever, but driving trucks in general, I just feel like this is something that I could do for a good while. Um, so thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. We are going to be dropping another video this Friday. So if you guys wanna go ahead and stay tuned, make sure you go ahead and stay tuned check in Friday. We'll definitely be dropping another video Friday. We drop videos every Friday. So thank you for watching. We out. Check out your boy though. Check out your boy. I didn't know you could take a truck to the beach. I didn't know you could take a truck to the beach.